In this movie, I'll be talking about other modernizer features, specifically the HTML5 shim or shiv that comes included. When you go to configure your build for a custom build, you'll notice that the HTML5 shiv version 3.7 comes built in by default. You can also choose to do the HTML5 shiv with print shiv. Now, what are these things? If you go into the documentation, it gives you a brief explanation. In the HTML5 elements in IE section, it talks briefly about what's going on. But here's a bit more information than they give you. If you try to use the new HTML5 elements in older browsers, like Internet Explorer version 8 and below, you'll run into problems. The new HTML5 elements are things like section and article, header and footer. These are new tags which basically replace divs in a lot of situations. They're semantically meaningful, whereas div is semantically meaningless. So if you want to use these new tags for increased accessibility and better search engine optimization, you'll run into a problem on old IE. You'll find that IE versions 8 and below not only don't support the new audio and video elements and all of that new stuff, but they also don't support the features that aren't really new features. The section tag doesn't look any different. Same with all of the other semantically meaningful tags in HTML5. Now, when a browser encounters the section tag, what it should do, according to the specification, is allow that tag and set it to display inline. Then your CSS reset or normalize.css sets it to display block, and then you're off to go. Old Internet Explorer instead will just ignore section and article and all of the other new tags. It'll basically pretend that they don't exist, and that's a problem. Now, some very smart people found a way around this problem, and it's called the HTML5 shiv. Now, some people also call it the HTML5 shim. There are some articles that talk about the history and the story of the HTML5 shiv. But basically, all it does is it runs some JavaScript that makes old Internet Explorer recognize those tags and allow you to style them. Without the HTML5 shiv, we wouldn't have the ability to use these new HTML5 elements in old IE. Basically, it's really, really important. That's why Modernizer includes it by default. For the kinds of websites we build, there are two main projects that are important to run before the content. One is the HTML5 shiv that makes old IE behave. Second is Modernizer. So it makes sense that instead of having Modernizer and the shiv separate from each other, why not roll them into one package? And that's exactly what Modernizer does. Now, the HTML5 shiv with print shiv allows old IE to print these new elements as well. If you don't particularly care about your users printing, then you probably don't need print shiv. You can keep the size especially small. On the other hand, if you're not sure, it might be a good idea to go with the print shiv. It really ultimately comes down to who your target audience is, how many of them are using Internet Explorer, and with print shiv, how many of those who are using Internet Explorer will also want to print. If you want more information about the HTML5 shiv, the Wikipedia page is very good, and if you Google for the story of it, you'll find a lot more information. So that does it for our coverage of other basic modernizer features. We do cover more advanced modernizer features in later lessons.